Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of videos we are working on several labs that you should be doing for AZ-104 exam preparation uh, which is for Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. All of these labs are available on the GitHub and under the Microsoft Learning account. I'll give you the link at the end of the video. In this series we started working on the overarching lab of O8 Managing Virtual Machines. I already got four videos to cover all of these previous tasks. In this video, we're going to finish up our lab with the task six, which is scale compute and storage for Azure Virtual Machine scale sets. It's an optional task. In the last video, we deployed Azure Virtual Machine scale set. So, and as, as I told you that we're going to review the scale set resource group, and then we'll move in, move into the task six. So let's go down to the very bottom and uh, kind of pick up from from where we where we kind of uh, kind of ended so here we're going to configure the virtual machine scale sets by using virtual machine extensions okay let me make sure that's what i want to do here for some reason the task 7 is not even there so okay that's fine Okay, so we deployed our virtual machine into the resource group uh, RG02. So if I go back to Azure Machine Instant, first of all, if you look at it, our deployment is successful. And that's the deployment we did uh, to deploy the virtual machine skill set. So if I go to the resource, resource group, I should be able to, oh, this is the resource, uh, AZ, 10408 VMSS0. So that is the scale set that we have deployed in the resource group. Okay. So we proved that our deployment was successful. So now let's start the lab six. Where is lab six? Here. So in this task, it will install Windows Server Web Server role on the instance of Azure Virtual Machine Scale Set. You deployed in the previous task by using the custom script. So Azure Portal, search for the storage account and click the entry representing the diagnostic storage account you created in the previous task. So that's why you needed that one. So let's go look for the storage accounts. And we have created that one or two most likely. Yes, one or two. This is the storage account that I created and attached to that virtual machine skill set. So I'm going to create that one. And I want to create a container named scripts. So now by this time it uh, should be very easy for you. So go to containers, uh, create a container, name it as uh, scripts and leave it as private so nobody can access it from outside this Azure. Go to the script and most likely we gotta upload a file. Uh, okay, the same file. So the same file, I already have it available. To, so click on file go to this file hit open hit upload so now this file is available to me uh, and then back to the virtual machine skill set and click on uh, VMSS01 so back to virtual machine skill set So let's go to virtual machine skill sets. Virtual machine skill sets. And click on that one. Alright, on that one, click on edit extensions and click add. So similar to any other virtual machines. Where is my extension? So sometimes if you can't quickly find it, just uh, look for extensions. Okay, and then click add. Uh, what extensions do I need to add? On the new resource blade, click custom script extensions. So here, <coughs> we wanna be able to run the parcel script. So we're adding the custom extension and here I'm just gonna go to our a storage that's attached to this, go to script and pick up the script and I'm gonna say okay so that's now installing the extensions to our uh, virtual machine scale set 
<coughs> now it says successful install so the so the installation is now done so we're pretty much done um, up to this point when the installation is completely done so in the settings section click instances uh, the check boxes next to the two instances and click upgrade okay let's see uh, VM MSS zero blade so let's go back to this blade go back to this okay so go back to this click on instances blade so go to instances blade so I have two different instances one running okay one another is updating and running so let's see okay so I'm just gonna give it another second just to make sure if there's nothing going on this one that updating running uh, nothing like this script is not running on that one so just it shouldn't be because it said that that uh, our script was was successfully completed so actually let's do a refresh on it yeah so that's all done so that's all good both of them are running so I feel better uh, instances and click upgrade select the check boxes and then you click on upgrade the upgrade virtual machine instances say yes <coughs> excuse me and again it's uh, from the notification board you can see what's going on with these machines and it says wait for the upgrade to complete before proceeding to the next step so let's just wait for a second and once that's done uh, we're gonna select the load balancer and uh, we can possibly in the video there let's see how big is the next lab. yeah next lab seems pretty long so I'm I'm just gonna uh, once this is done we'll do next two steps and we'll stop the video and we'll end up doing another video to finish up this whole lab series where we'll be adding the scale compute and storage for Azure Virtual Machine scale sets. Okay, let's go back over here. So this one is still running. So I'm just gonna pause the video for a second. As soon as this is done, <clears throat> I'm gonna come back and uh, restart the lab. So just give me a couple minutes. All right, I'm back and as per the notification, it says the upgrade of the virtual machines is now completed. So let's go back <clears throat> and let's do the last two things in the Azure portal, select the load balancers and uh, let's go there, find the load balancers and select the load balancer AZ that we have created. So this load balancer that we have to select and once that is selected, note the value of the public IP address assigned to the front end of the load balancer. Okay, so let's see, let's go back. Uh, where is my front end? So that's the back end pool. <coughs> Excuse me. Public IP address. So that should be the the IP address that we need uh, let me save this one in our notepad as well so let's see go back to our lab um, then open a new browser tab and navigate to that IP address so let's uh, open a new browser tab and navigate to that IP address and see what happens and there we go so that <clears throat> the uh, server is running and this is a load balancer it's sending the traffic based on our load it's sending either the virtual machine one or the zero or any of the two virtual machines and and it's serving a web content to us so we have completed all the steps that we needed to complete uh, for the task six um, and in the next video, we'll perform the skill compute and storage for Azure for Show Machine skill sets and we'll end our video series at this time. Thank you for watching. Good luck with the exam. If you like it, please like the video, share with your friends and subscribe.
Thank you.